G'day folks, welcome to another episode of Stuff and Such. It's uh, February something or other, 2019. We're in a freezing rainstorm right now. Minus three and raining. And it will be plummeting fairly shortly, so I'm just trying to do a couple quick jobs here. One of the joys of winter is that you get to fix things that weren't going to break anyways, so here I am. So we're here underneath the hood of the hood of the Suburban. It kind of looks like a mouse is trying to, trying to get himself annoying. So anyways, I had a chunk of ice between my wiper it came down and snapped off this little barb fitting and no one I can find within an hour drive of me has one in stock so I Gorilla glued it back together and wrapped it with thread I pulled on her pretty good and I don't think it's going anywhere so let's try putting her back together and see if it'll work That jams in there, and that just simply jams in there. So what was happening was that being as it was the path of least resistance having a broken fitting, I'd hardly get any spray and it would just pump all my fluid out, so we got no fluid left to fill that back up and give her a whirl. One of the joys that southern folks will never have to enjoy is having to use minus 40 washer, windshield washer fluid. Because if you don't, it'll freeze in your lines and crack all your lines and break your pump and you're in for a real expensive, real expensive repair. So it's not too much more for the non-freezing kind of washer fluid, but it's a uh, so I, I personally run it all year round because I would hate to forget about it and get a flash freeze in late September and then you're in a pickle. So you always pour the, your jugs sideways, that way they don't glug, 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 glug. Such a stupid design that GM made here. They made it basically have a 90 degree turn in it so it's, even if you hit the hole beautifully it just splashes back around. So we'll fire it up and see if the washer fluid flows through that repair relatively good and see how long it lasts. All right guys, that ends today's little video. Sometimes you just gotta use your brain and figure out how to make things work just to get by in a pinch. Cause it's no sense driving an hour for a probably dollar or less piece. But if you don't have it, 
it's almost dangerous to drive with all the salt that kicks up off the highway and covers your windshield and you can hardly even see. So anyone who's watched this video a little bit has seen this sap evaporator before. I've towed it out of the back field out of the storage area. Needs a little bit of cleaning up and ice chipped out of it and a fire put in it to get it thawed out. Hopefully spring comes along fairly quick here. I'm getting real sick of winter. Looking forward to having some robins pecking around, having the geese honking and ducks quacking down in the lake down there. Oh, yeah. Let's let's have spring come. Take care, guys.